Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara, whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me this good Sunday for, you already know, mimosas and makeup. But today I actually just have White Zinfandel. This is by the brand Franzia and it comes in a box. So, you know, sometimes we get those box wines for like family events and I had a little bit left over. So, you know, having a little bit of that today. Super excited for the video today because I am going to be trying out the new Pizza Kitty palette by Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics. Yes. Really excited about this one because there are so many of these duochrome palettes coming out. A lot of them seem really similar to me. However, when I saw this one, I thought the color story looked a little bit different and it really, really caught my eye. So what I'd like to do is lid swatches today on a black base and a regular eye primer. So if you want to see me put my lids to the test, keep on watching this video. And if makeup is your therapy, if it makes you happy and it's your escape and you really love eyeshadow, definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I don't know much about Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics except that it's an indie brand. I believe they have had some palettes before, but as far as their duochrome palettes, this is the third one. Yes. And this is the Pizza Kitty palette. Um, I may look into the other two at some point, but I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. Now this palette was $39.95, I believe, and it is going to restock. So if you are interested in this palette, make sure you follow them on Instagram and just, you know, check back because they said it was going to restock. This palette has a 36 month shelf life and it's cruelty free. So let's look at this packaging. Super cute. I'm not sure, you know, where the theme of the palette came from, but you know, it's a little cute packaging. And here is the inside. As you can see, there are 12 dual chrome shades and they have really cute names. So I'll go through them when I do the swatches. Oh, which reminds me, I need to take a couple pictures of this palette before I swatch it. All right, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. Not that y'all really had to wait, but let's go ahead and do the swatches and then I'll do the lid swatches. I'm really excited to see the differences in each shade based on the black base versus, you know, a typical primer. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so here are the first four shades. This is the top row. We have Pizza Kitty, Taco Cat, Space Burger, and Moon Man. A couple of these do look a bit sheer, but from where I am, I am able to see the color shift. And again, these will probably pop more with uh, the black base. And I've seen some absolutely great swatches of this palette, by the way. So I just know that playing with uh, primers and bases are going to be key in you know how the color shows up. Let's go to the second row. Okay, you guys, so here's the second row. I'm loving this row already. Not focused. So we have the shade Space Blaster, Pew Pew, Rocket Fuel, and Space Meow. Yes. Ooh, y'all. This shade right here, I hope this is in focus. These look great. Look at that one. So this row has two of the, uh, I don't know what you call that texture, but it's that texture that looks very wet and glassy. These two shades are that material and they feel different in the pan. They remind me a little bit of my Glam Shop shades. Look at that. Okay, enough. Okay, I was not recording. Here we are with the last row. We have Intergalactic Purr, Space Fries, Purple Space, and Space Dog. So these are our final four shades. And yes, I love Space Fries. That's really pretty. Okay, you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed those swatches because now we are going to do the lid swatches. So this eye is going to have the Glam Light Eye Sing eyeshadow base and this is going to be the shade classic vanilla and then this eye is going to have the nyx what is this called it's just a, a black eye base it's just black so i'm going to put the eye bases on and then we'll get started we're going to do each shade so i'm going to be doing 12 
12 lid swatches. Okay, we, we got this though. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect. It's so hard to decide.
Mark, he's about to come in here. Hey, Marky. Oh, what's wrong? Are you good, buddy? What? I don't know. What do you want for dinner? Pizza. No. What? No pizza. I'll think about it. Are you hungry now? Well, can you close my door? And then I'm gonna come out in like five minutes because I'm almost done. Well, we just got back from Ariel's house. We went to the pool and we ordered them lunch, a late lunch. And now he's hungry again, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay, it is a Saturday night or evening. It is about 7, 7.42 p.m. And we have now switched to my beloved Euphoria. Yes. Mm. Okay, you guys, I have a lot of thoughts, uh, not only about this palette, but a lot of these duochrome palettes in general. And some of what I'm gonna say, maybe an unpopular opinion. So let's get started with that. Final thoughts. I like the color story of the Pizza Kitty palette. I keep wanting to call it Taco Kitty. There's a couple of standout shades that I really, really liked. Uh, let's see, Pew Pew was good. It's that soft, wet duochrome. Mm, hard to describe color. It's like a purpley or lavender taupey duochrome. Really like that. Now, one thing I noticed with uh, Pew Pew is I actually loved how this looked on a regular eyeshadow base versus the uh, black base. Rocket Fuel, I didn't see any difference uh, with the base. Space Me Out, that was another really beautiful shade. And uh, Space Fries, I think those four were the ones that I really liked the most out of this palette. Uh, the rest of them were okay. Uh, Moon Man was kind of cool too, but um, not super unique shades. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest. <sighs> it's too much work with the black base. Now, I put the makeup on the way I did with my finger and had the base all over the eye, just more so for effect. So I know that the lid swatches were a bit sloppy, but I was just trying to include as much <laughs> uh, eye space as I could so you guys could see uh, what the shadows look like. But if I was using this for real, most likely I would use a brush uh, to apply the base and the uh, shadow so that it went exactly where I wanted it to go. So just so you know, I know it was a bit of a messy application. I thought about it after the fact, but I was like, I was, it's too far gone. Let me think about how I want to word this. I've just noticed a, and oh, so I am gonna keep this palette. I, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use it. I don't know if this is one of my palettes that's gonna end up being chopped and screwed and put into some other palettes, but there's definitely some good shades in here that um, I, will, I will use. So I'm not mad at it at all. And again, this one caught me because this color story was different. The other two palettes that they have look very similar to another palette that I have. So I'm about to go into that now. There is a influx, maybe is that the word, of new brands coming out. If you follow any of the indie makeup pages, I feel like I see a new brand every day. And a lot of them are putting out these all duochrome palettes. Now the first duochrome palette that I purchased, and this is the one that I'm going to keep and continue to use. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. I know you already probably know what it is. It's the uh, Alien Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted. This one has 20 shades. 
So I know there may be a couple of these shades in this palette, but when I look at a lot of the other all duochrome palettes that are out, all of those shades are in this palette. So there is no point of me keeping those palettes or using them because that means I won't use this one, if that makes any sense. And like, I don't, I, this is all a business thing. So I'm, I'm not knocking any brands. That's why I don't want to mention any brands, but as a person who loves eyeshadow and talking to other eyeshadow lovers who we are all attracted to the shiny and sparkly things, you know, we see these swatches and it's like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Oh my gosh, I have to have it. And then I've talked to people that, you know, that may have this one or it's bell or another one. And then they get another one and then they're like, wait, these are exactly the same formula and shades. I don't know what that means and I'm not trying to suggest anything. My advice would be just get one, just get one palette. So like you can't get this one, but like maybe it's Bell is your palette or maybe this one is your palette or one of the other sugar drizzle ones are your palette, but like you only need one. That's what I'm trying to say. The second thing I want to say is that a lot of the swatches that we're seeing are not on bare skin. They, there's no way that they could be on bare skin. They're not advertising that the swatches are on bare skin either, but it's just, you know, when you're scrolling and you, you see the swatches, like we get caught up in that. Like we really, really do. I get caught up in that. I'm going to speak for myself, but you can see the difference if somebody has a primer on or a black base under these shadows some of those shadows in this palette particularly that looked um really really rich on the swatches when i swatched them i thought like on my bare arm that they were a bit sheer so you also have to understand that people are trying to make the swatches look as good as possible while i like the idea that you can change up the the shade using a base i think i've become a bit uh lazy for that especially when i have shadows that i don't have to do that with like what you see is what you get it's nice to have that option but nine times out of ten especially when i start going back to work and i'm not necessarily doing my makeup like for fun or have i mean i really i never have a lot of time to apply it i'm not doing all of that I want to prime my eyes. I want to put the shadow on and I want it to look the way that it's supposed to look. And that's it. So that's what I'm going to say about that. So I do have about three other duochrome palettes that I'm probably going to put on Macari because I just, my gut is telling me that they are the exact same formula as what I already have in the exact same shade. And I just don't want to create more waste like in my collection because those palettes could be something that someone else doesn't have and be special to them. But I feel like when I'm getting these palettes in and realizing that they're all the same in a sense, it does make it feel less special. It does, especially because like, I'm trying to add more special things to my collection. So this just continues to be a lesson learned and, um, you know, just find out what your brand is. But these, these palettes, they're the same y'all. That's they're the same. Some of the colors may vary, but they're the same basically in different packaging. I don't know what else to say. And maybe everybody knew that, but I didn't like, I didn't know. I'm just learning this, but just to sum up, this palette is cool. I think the color story is nice. I just think the swatches in some of the shades are a bit more sheer um, than, you know, they appear on some of the swatch pages that I've seen and not necessarily swatch pages from the, um, the brand itself. But you know, when people do swatches, you know, there's some professional swatchers out here. I'm not one of them. I just swatch and go like what you see is like me swatching. I always swatch on my bare arm. I don't have a primer lotion, or, uh, anything to enhance the, the shadow. It's just on my bare arm, but there's some professional swatchers out here that are, that do amazing, amazing swatches. So I'm not knocking anybody or anyone's technique. I'm not knocking any brand. I'm saying for us to just kind of be more, I guess, discerning 
and just look and see like look at my duochrome palette do i have these shades all, already you know is this going to add something special to my collection you know do i have to have that shade or can i buy if i really like i actually helped somebody because they were like i really only want the shade pew pew can you suggest something and i was like oh i sure can let me show you and i ended up um suggesting this shade from glam shop called tool it's almost the same and i just happen to have it so they're very similar not exactly the same but that's tool and that's pew pew and um it was great because i was i was telling this person about the glam shop and i was like oh my gosh the shipping blah 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 and sh this person ended up i think being in poland or being in europe so she didn't have to worry about that shipping and she's like i ordered that shade so if you see a shade that you really 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 like it might be worth it to just order the single instead of just ordering another palette because if we're all trying to do better with our collections and you know th and that's what i'm trying to do if i see something like this i just want to be informative so that we're not wasting our makeup or our products because i know that like if i start using all these dual chrome palettes i have then my favorite one is probably not gonna get the use. And I really wanna continue to use this one and let those other ones be special for someone else's collection where it's adding something new to their collection. I, I really hope that she would decide to bring this one back because this one has it all. Like all I ever wanted is the perfect name because it's got all of these shades all of them but if not you have plenty of others to choose from so that's it i hope all of that made sense all right thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today you know i really do really appreciate you guys and the feedback that you all have been giving me lately has been very very valuable it really just makes me feel good to know like in this whole makeup thing like that I'm not by myself with how I'm feeling about my collection, about my spending, um, about even being passionate about makeup and how much we love it. I just love feeling like this is a real community and that I'm not alone. And I love hearing suggestions. You know, I got a lot of good feedback from my uh, <laughs> remix palettes and I love people saying like, oh, I wanna do this too and like, I, I love how we're just, we're just about to like, we're about to like get our collections together, y'all. We're about to get it together, having what we want and enjoying what we have and adding to it, but only adding what we really, really, really want. You know, that what we really think is special that's gonna add just something different. Now, again, I know we probably all have all the shades and all the colors, but you know what I'm saying? We love makeup, we're gonna continue to buy it, but we don't have to jump and buy everything you know we can be a little more choosy all right so again thank you and i hope this was therapy for you because it was for me so until i see you again be gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye oh,